and welcome to my new video we move little bit further regarding alpha beta what we finding out the roots of any quadratic equation we learn about the alpha beta sum of the roots multiple of the roots product of the roots and all that thing and if we have roots how to find the equation now Dis discriminant roots at the x intersect means that given curve at how many times it intersect at x axis so you start with the discriminant what is discriminant i will tell you later but first for this we have to proceed we need to know what is algebraic method algebraic method means any quadratic equation we have to convert into whole square so what is the formula for convert whole square if we have equation x square plus nx so its whole square is x plus n by 2 whole square and the same term you have to subtract with square for example our term is 2x square plus 8x First, you have to take out whatever the common thing. So, our common thing is 2, take out 2, it's x square plus 4. So, follow this formula. 2 is outside, x plus 4 by 2 whole square minus 4 by 2. 4 by 2 means 2. So, it's x plus 2 whole square minus 2 square. 2 square is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So, our equation in terms of this. It means any quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c, we transform in the form ax plus h whole square plus k. With this h and k, we can easily trace the curve and we can find where it intersect or where it lies. So, basically, this is the equation of parabola. So, trace this with y equal to this and we can know where it lies in which coordinate. So, proceed to understand by the problem. Our given curve is y is equal to minus 3x square plus 6x. First, you simplify, convert into whole square. When we convert into whole square, we, need, we can get h and k. Our h is 1, k is minus 3. So, this is called, H and K is called turning point compared to our, if equation is AX square plus BX plus C, we convert into A, X minus H whole square plus K. So, our H and K, you can compare with this equation, find H and K. H and K are called turning point, means from here we can say X equal to 1 is the line of symmetry, H is the line of symmetry. So, curve is symmetrical about x equal to 1. This is x equal to 1. And if we draw 1 and minus 3, this is the highest peak point. So, curve maximum deep peak point is this. x equal to 1 is line of symmetry. Now, we can find where it cuts. If we substitute x, we can say x minus 1 whole square equal to this equal to 0. So, minus 3 divided by 3. So, x minus 1 whole square is min plus minus of square. x minus 1 whole square is plus 1. So, x minus 1 is square root of 1. So, what is our x? x is 1 plus minus of 1. Square root of 1 is 1. So, square root of plus is, so 2 points you will get 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, it is cut at x axis, axis at 0, another it cuts x axis at 2 points. So, we can find easily when we convert into algebra, with algebraic method, find h and k. We can find line of symmetry and the points where it cuts to the x axis talking the, about the discriminant of any quadratic equation. For discriminant, we already learned the formula for root is x equal to minus of b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Clear? So, what is called discriminant? Discriminant means this term. So, we talk about b square minus 4ac. This can give you the nature of given equation. So, what, how to decide 
there are some rules we can say first if b square minus 4ac is positive it means greater than 0 so it have real and distinct rule means it have two different value of root which are real. Second, if b square minus 4ac equal to 0, it means it have real but two equal roots. It means it is a whole square. So in this case b square minus 4ac equal to 0. So roots are real and equal. Third case, b square minus 4ac is negative. If it is negative, roots are not real. In this secondary, you can say it is not real. But higher classes, you can say it is imaginary. So, it is not real and we just leave that. We are here to study about the real distinct root and real equal root. So, there are three conditions. We, with this discriminant, we can find the nature of the given equation. So, and it allows you to de determine the type of quadratic equation. For example, here if I consider x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. If we find a b square minus 4ac. So, what is our a? We compare with ax square plus bx plus c. So, a is 1, b is 4, and C also 4. Now you need to find B square minus 4 AC. So 4 square minus 4. A is 1. C is 4. So 4 square is 16 minus 4. 4 is 16. It gives 0. It means it satisfied the second condition. B square minus 4 AC equal to 0. So we can say its roots are real and two equal roots. It means it is a whole square. We can see that it is x plus 2 whole square and roots are 2 comma 2. So with this we can find, with this discriminant we find the nature of given equation. Let us follow one another. The question is find the value of p. p is any unknown constant where for value of this p has equal and real roots. It means for equal and real roots our discriminant of this equation b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So what is b? Our b is p. So p square minus 4a is 3, c is 12 equal to 0. It means it gives p square minus 144 equal to 0. So, P, is, P square is 144. P is plus minus of 12. Square root of 144 is plus 1. So, our value of P is plus minus 12. With this, this equation have equal and real roots. So, sometimes they will ask this type of equation. They put one unknown and tell you to find with discriminant what is the value of that unknown. Proceed with some more example. Again we talk about the discriminant. We learn already b square minus 4ac. If it is positive greater than 0, it is real this thing. Another fact of this is always this equation cuts x axis at any two points. It means if this is, it is something like that or maybe it is something like that. So, cut x axis always this parabola at two points. Next, if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So, for this it will be only touch means cut at one point either this or maybe this. It only touches means x axis is tangent of this given parabola. Next tangent means any line if touches curve at one point that is called tangent. So this at cut at one point it means it is called tangent. Next if it is negative not real it means imaginary and no intersection at x axis 
it means it is somewhere above the x axis or maybe somewhere below the x axis but it cannot cut it cannot intersect at any place of x axis so this i again repeat because you need to remember that what is the discriminant condition gives which kind of shape so if positive it give real different and cut at two place zero real equal cut at one place negative no need to remember no cut and it's imaginary let us proceed now one example b square minus 4 ac is negative it means we can say not real but here a is greater than 0 means a is positive then we can say y equal to ax square plus bx plus c our equation it always should be positive and for all value of x for all x if a is positive next if b square minus 4 ac is negative but a also negative then y equal to ax square plus bx plus c is also negative it means it for all value of x it is negative it is less than 0 so now find determine the intersection of the given curve our example is y equal to x square plus 2x minus 6 now they ask how many points it intersect just find b square minus 4ac so a is 1 b is 2 so 2 square minus 4 a c is minus 6 so we can see 16 minus minus plus 24 so 16 plus 20 b is b is square 2 square is 4 sorry it's 2 so 2 square is 4 so 24 plus 4 is 28 it is real and positive greater than 0 it means real and distinct to root and cut at two points correct it means this curve we find already curve cut at two points another example with one unknown p so cut at y axis at how many points if p is always greater than 2 So let proceed. Since we find b square minus 4ac, b is minus p, so minus p square minus 4a is 1c is p minus 1. Simplify it. p square minus 4p minus minus plus 4. Clear? So what is this? It is p minus 2 whole square. Now. we have condition p is always greater than 2 it means p is greater than 2 so if we put p equal to 3 here 3 minus 2 is 1 square is 1 positive p is 3 4 5 6 any value bigger than 2 always give positive it means it is positive greater than 0 so same real different and cut at two points of x axis for this equation cut at two point of x axis why because we can find that if p is always greater than 2 it will be always discriminant value always should be positive let's find the range of p for that this equation has two different real roots so for two different real roots our discriminant should be positive so we should consider b square minus 4 ac is positive so to substitute the values 2 square minus 4 a is 3 a is 3 b is 2 c is minus of p is greater than 0 4 minus minus plus 
12p is greater than 0. So 12p then minus of p. 4 shift there. So p become minus 4 by 12. When we simplify b square minus 4 AC, we can see with this inequality p always should be greater than minus 1 by 3. If p should be always greater than minus 1 by 3, p, this equation always has two real and different roots because our discriminant have always the positive. Next, one more example. Find the range of p where y is px square minus 2x plus 3 has no intersection they ask has no intersection at x axis so where is no intersection so no intersection means it has no real roots so if we can say b square minus 4 ac should be negative always sorry should be negative means always be less than 0. So now substitute b is minus 2 square minus 4 a is p c is 3 should be negative. So 4 minus 12 p should be 0. So minus 12 p with 12 p we can shift there. So 4 equal less than 12p. So our 4 by 12 should be p. So this when you simplify 1 by 3, p should be always greater than, p should be always bigger than 1 by 3. If p is always bigger than 1 by 3, this equation always having the value negative. So if discriminant is negative, it has no intersection, no real roots. So this with the use of discriminant, how to find the nature, intersect of x and where it lies. That's all for today. Thank you very much.